Hello everybody. Um, as you can see, I'm in a gown, and I'm in a bed, a hospital bed. So that means I'm in a hospital. <laughs> Uh, the reason I'm here is because uh, they found something on me, something new, uh, on Thursday, Tuesday, the 30th, uh, I went to the hospital to get a, a CT scan done, and they found, uh, they did a CTA, CT scan on my brain uh, they uh, told me that it was going to take like a couple days to get the results and I was like okay but I was in a lot of pain I was having a lot of headaches uh, I couldn't bend uh, turn my head uh, down uh, I couldn't cough, I couldn't laugh, I couldn't make any kind of, uh, you know, s strength stuff, force, because I feel my head was going to explode. I thought it was something, something simpler, uh, but it's not. My, <clears throat> my oncologist called me like, I took the test like at 11, and my uh, oncologist called me at maybe at 3, something like that, 3 p.m., um, telling me to go to the, to the emergency room because they found a tumor in my brain. Um, they found a tumor, and I had to go to the to the emergency room because it wasn't safe. It was not a safe tumor. It was not small. Uh, and it was doing some pressure in my head. Uh, and that was the reason I was having so many pain on, on me. So I went to the emergency room. They get me to a, to this, uh, to this room and um, now I'm waiting the the neurologist came to me um, the first night uh, to talk to me and and he told me that uh, he showed me the, the the picture of the of the of the test um, it was a small picture because it was you know on a phone but the the tumor is like a like a like a golf ball, maybe more, uh, maybe in size. Uh, so they're gonna remove it. They had to perform surgery, and that's what I'm waiting right now. I'm waiting on surgery. Um, it's gonna happen probably tomorrow, uh, Friday the 2nd of uh, August yeah this is something that I never thought I it was gonna happen but it happened it happened to me it can happen to anyone uh, the oncologist told me that maybe it was because the the chemotherapy that I was receiving uh, was a uh, focus on the you know from here down all the way to the pelvis and that was the focus of that chemotherapy that's why my my cancer and everything was going down it was under control but the cancer said nah I'm, I need a place to to make damage let's go where that medicine is not going so it went straight to my brain um, that's what the oncologist says. 
uh, maybe that was the reason that uh, that the chemo uh, was not getting to the brain. So uh, it, it started working there and and, and making damage. Uh, right now I'm on steroids. Uh, the steroids are helping for the inflammation. The the tumor is right here uh, behind the in the ear area. The neurosurgeon said that that is a very uh, uh, dangerous, let's put it like that, place to have a uh, uh, a tumor because there's a lot of pressure on this side. There's a lot of nerves and everything that goes on this area. If it was in the front, uh, I don't have to be worried about it uh, too much. I mean, uh, but because in, it's in this area, uh, I need I need to do something about it. So that's why I have to attack the the thing. I have to get it out because if I left left the 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 tumor there, uh, I was gonna lift. Uh, he said that if I did, if I left the, if I don't take that tumor out, uh, if I decide not to uh, get surgery, uh, I was gonna live around six to eight weeks. I have to get surgery if I wanna get living, stay, uh, keep living. <laughs> But right now, I'm not feeling too well. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. I'm feeling dizzy. I've been feeling dizzy like for the last couple of weeks. But it's getting worse and worse and worse. And that's why uh, they sent me to the... When they saw it on the study, it was... It, it was late, you know. Uh, so, uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, Probably tomorrow, the second, uh, I'm gonna get the surgery done. Uh, I hope everything goes well. Uh, it's a three to five hours uh, of surgery, uh, depending on how bad is it and how much uh, the surgeon can can get out. Um, he said that he's not gonna get the whole thing out because he can't, he can't because it's, it's whatever is too close to the to the brain stems, uh, he has to let leave it there because it can be very dangerous to cut the brain, to cut you know very near the brain. So whatever's left is gonna be uh, is gonna be treated with uh, radio. Uh, What's that called? It's chemotherapy and radiotherapy, radiotherapy something like that. Uh, I'm not receiving that right now for my cancer. Uh, I was just getting chemotherapy, but for the for the brain stuff, uh, I'm gonna get radio. So I probably lose my <laughs> my hair and all that. The recovery is, if everything goes okay, it's gonna be about week and a half, a week, week and a half here in the hospital. Uh, then it's gonna be like a month, month and a half at the, at the house uh, to get f recovered. Uh, so we have to wait, we have to see what happens. Um, I wanna thank my wife for, <clears throat> for being here with me. Uh, she's the one that brought me here because I couldn't drive. Uh, she's been here with me all the time. Uh, and I want to thank you, uh, whoever is watching this, uh, is because you care uh, to know, and, and I appreciate it. Okay, so I'll keep you updated, I'll post it as much as I can. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do videos, but at least for a couple months, but we'll see. Uh, 
We'll see what happens. Maybe I can. Maybe I, maybe I don't. It depends on on how bad I'm I'm feeling. But yeah, thanks for watching and wish me luck. And I see you guys on the on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.